So the IGC, the 29th session, took place last week uh, here in Geneva from February 15 to 19. You may know that the IGC hadn't met actually for, hasn't met for about 18 months uh, because there were no sessions in 2015. But the member states uh, renewed the mandate of the IGC at the end of last year. And so the IGC now has a new mandate and work plan for 2016-2017. And this was the first session of the IGC under the new mandate. Genetic resources was the topic of the session. There is a new chair for the IGC. It's uh, Ian Goss from Australia, and the two new vice chairs from Finland, Eucalidis and Indonesia Ambassador Michael Tenner. One of the working documents is a consolidated text. Now, when the plenary met, uh, as from the Monday afternoon, it began to examine and have a good dialogue on a list of core issues. There were two facilitators uh, appointed by the plenary, and those were from Mozambique and Mexico. They listened to the good dialogue, and on the basis thereof, they reworked some of the articles in the text and presented those to the plenary. The plenary decided to transmit to the next session the existing text, uh, which is in document 29.4, the existing text to the next session of the IGC, and the revised articles of the facilitators will be referred to in the body of the report of the session. As required, the IGC also uh, developed an indicative list of pending and outstanding issues uh, to be tackled, stroke solved at the next session, and this list was also transmitted to the next session. So the next session, we move forward to that. It takes place at the end of May on the same topic, uh, and it will be preceded by a seminar which will take place on May 26 and 27.